I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports, set to bring you all the action in today's tournament. David? Is this all you've got? And all your partners got? And well, you know, forget it. We're not getting there. Look at this! Going for an eagle now! Step up and give this putt a ride. The second hole offers a stunning vista of Mount Fuji in the background. The fairway slopes from right to left, so keep your tee shot from rolling off into the water. The approach shot is to an elevated green that is protected by bunkers all around it. a long way to the pin, David. Yeah, I'd say a little under 230 yards left here. This is a two iron, I believe. You're set up for a miracle putt now. Good luck. This is going to break a bunch. This quaint little par three is a real beauty. It's also a real beast. Accuracy is key. Keep your tee shot on the green or you will pay the price. Very nicely done. Faraday, give me some of your forensics on this one. Not too tricky here, Gary. Maybe just a little outside the left. 26 under for the championship.
The fourth hole is a dog leg left that plays between a forest and a substantial body of water. Keep your tee shots out of the fairway bunkers and then drive your second shot to a green that is protected by bunkers in front and to the left. down the middle. Fairway Faraday, he's got this going right at it. Can you believe that shot? Putting for birdie. Make sure to read this properly. Twenty-seven under par for the tournament. The fifth hole offers a truly unique golfing experience. This par four fairway is sliced straight across at several points by hazards, so ball control is absolutely vital for success here. The uphill approach shots must carry well, or you'll be over par quicker than you realize. that one. Not easy to choose a club here. Air traffic control, we're headed for the flagstick. Beautiful shot. This for five in a row. This is not a straight putt. Twenty eight under par for the championship. Keep your tee shot to the right to avoid the steep drop-off all along the left side of the fairway. Watch out for the fairway bunkers and make sure you have enough club to reach the green on your uphill approach. The green is well guarded by bunkers. You seem to have a talent for spinning the ball. Let's see it. That's really hard to do. Stop your swing mid-action. This one has some serious distance. This one needs to roll quite a bit. Okay, you're in perfect position here to hit nine iron. Oh, 
Well, it's okay. Not brilliant, but okay. At least we're dancing. This for six birdies in a row. This could be close. The par 5 seventh hole is a double dog leg to the right and then back to the left. Aggressive players will surely try to take advantage of any presented opportunities to shorten the yardage. Beware though, this hole is a way of racking up strokes quicker than you can say double bogey. The approach shot is over water to a gently sloped green. Okay, it's an uphill shot. Hit two iron. That's playing it safely, maybe too safely. We just witnessed a truly remarkable shot. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. Now tied atop the leaderboard. The par 4 eighth hole lets the player blast his tee shot from the elevated tees down to an open fairway. Make sure you drive past the signature tree or your approach shot to the beautifully manicured green will be obscured. atmosphere somewhere over the South Pacific about four o'clock Tuesday morning. Nearly 210 yards from here to the hole. You called that right, Gary. Well, he's going to scatter a few leaves with this shot. David, what's he got? Well, not exactly on the shortest turf on the golf course, but not too far off the beaten track. It'll be fine. Should have a good chance from there. Nothing wrong with that. this to save par. Thirty under for the championship.
The ninth is a stunning display of natural beauty, neatly packaged as a par three. It's all downhill to this green, but be wary of the bunkers protecting it on both sides. Here's your chance to make something out of a bad situation. Well, the good news is we found it. The bad news is we found it. And we have to play it. Unbelievable! The tenth hole is a par four comprised of gently rolling mounds. Place your tee shot well as water and large fairway bunkers await the errant shot. The green is perched up a bit and protected by bunkers in front and to the left and right. Set him up perfectly for the next shot. That's just incredible. Putting for the lead. Right on top of the leaderboard now. The 11th hole is a challenging dog leg right that requires a well-placed tee shot. The river factors into this hole, so watch your aim. The small, well-manicured green is protected by bunkers and a very prominent rock. Aggressive players may find a birdie here. just uh, like far really really far you got a lot of accuracy with your irons but that doesn't mean you couldn't use more I don't think this is going to get there. David Faraday? Buck 20 to the hole here. This looks good. Should be safely on the green. Pressure's on. This is for Birdie. Thirty three under par for the tournament.
An ancient castle is the backdrop for this par four. The 12th is a dogleg right around the landmark to a green that is well bunkered in front and to the right and left. Keep your approach shot out of the sand or you'll be whistling bogey in no time. This one's going to have to travel some distance, David. Yeah, I'd say it's about 240 yards to the hole. Looks good. Should be safely on the green. That's a good shot. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. David Ferdy, your take on this one? Well, you can take this one to the bank. A good stroke, and this one can be made. A cluster of trees comes into play here on the 13th fairway. There's clear swinging on your approach shot. Just make sure it carries up the hill and over the rock face to the elevated green. It's a good size green. Should have a chance at it. I've ever seen. Nice, nice ball. I can't be certain, but this looks like it's heading for the rough. Oh, that one's in the deep stuff. No quarter given here. Miss it in this junk and you're gonna pay dearly. Fifty-eight degree wedge here, right in between the strong and the weak sand wedges. In this lie, the word could be a danger. There, that's a bogey. Mount Fuji comes back into view on this challenging par three over the water. Keep your tee shot on target, or you'll end up in the jagged rocks protecting this green. Simply splendid right there. Remarkable. 34 under for the championship. The 15th hole is a very lengthy par five played alongside a beautiful expanse of water to the right of the fairway. Given how narrow this fairway is, 
Every shot here must be well placed. The left side of the green is well protected by an enormously long bunker. Did I mention they were enormous? Birdie here, and you'll set the record for most birdies in a round. This is the way to keep the ball in play. It's not the worst shot I've seen today. It's not the best either. Right on target. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. Look for this to go left. Players trying to make upstrokes will be gunning for a birdie here. Keep your tee shot down the fairway and place it safely to the green. Go for the long putt, sink it, and charge to the last two holes. Nothing wrong with that swing. Please, do your best not to blow this very makeable putt. Tell us about this putt. Yeah, it's gonna be a big swing. The 17th is a short par 3 to test your golfing skills. It could be tough to judge the distance here, so place the ball well and go for the aggressive putt. That's just incredible. This for birdie. You know, from this range, this one could go in. That looked a little tricky. Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. Under par for the day.
This difficult double dog leg has a pin that can be reached in two shots, but you'll have to cut the corner with a fade off the tee. Don't fade it too far or you'll be out of contention. The green has some slope to it, but it's not too bad. You can be aggressive on your approach shot as missing long over the green isn't too troublesome. This is looking good. On target today, hitting every fairway. What do you see, David? It's about 140 left here. Oh, this really looks good. Nothing wrong with that. For birdie. Thirty-seven under par for the tournament. <laughs> 